Welcome to the brand new series in which we get to swatch every single color from M. Graham. I know we are getting to start so many new series on this channel recently. It's very exciting. This series is going to be in a very similar format to Core in that we're going to look at five colors at a time. And we have all these wonderful, wonderful, wonderful colors. Look at them. There's so many. And I just want to say a huge thanks to both my patrons and M. Graham themselves because they've M. Graham sent me several tubes to help with this series which you can see on a video that I will link up here as well as a couple of my patrons have supplied me with some of the colors so that I can bring this to you guys faster. So thank you so very much to both M. Graham and my patrons for supporting this series. This series wouldn't be possible without you guys so thank you so so much in the core episodes we kind of grouped them roughly in colors i'm not gonna do that with the engram there wasn't a way to make it the color separations make sense so i'm just gonna do the first five colors then the next five colors and the next five colors i'm not calling anything I just couldn't figure out a, 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 no, a good logical way <laughs> to group them, so I hope that's okay. But otherwise, we're going to be taking a look at the exact same thing. Now, M. Graham, of course, uses honey in their paints, which unfortunately means it's not vegan, but it also means it makes the re-wettability really good. I didn't have any re-wet issues with any of these colours, so I'm not going to talk about re-wet because... There's just no issue here. So if you are wondering about why isn't she talking about the rewet, that's the reason. So in this episode, we are going to be taking a look at the Bismuth Yellow, the Hansa Yellow, the Cadmium Yellow Light, Azo Yellow and the Hansa Yellow Lip Deep. Let's start off with the Bismuth Yellow. This is a quite bright Bismuth. Normally, I see bismuth that are quite pale and chalky this isn't one of those this is quite bright it's not as bright as say the Hansa that's coming up you can see that this is a little bit more muted but it's still pretty bright as a color it does suffer from a little bit of cauliflowering here but otherwise the gradation i see one it's very hard to tell gradation stages in yet very pale yellows but one two three and maybe four so a little bit of movement but on the whole m grams aren't going to move as crazily as the cores did it is made with py184 which is the bismuth vanadate yellow and it is classified as opaque and i would agree with that there's quite a lot of deposits on that black band it is classified as non-staining i would say semi-staining for a very pale yellow on a white background i do still see some yellow so i would say it's semi-staining in terms of glazing it's very good i there's no lifting there but also with pale yellows you're not going to see that much lifting happening anyway it's relatively low tint. I know it doesn't look very low, but you'll see later on that as you come to see other colors, that these are actually pretty low in tint. It makes nice clear color mixes though, which is lovely. Then we have the Hansa yellow. And this one is a much brighter yellow. It's a very clear yellow. I would say that if you want a cool yellow that isn't cadmium or mute like bismuth then i would go for the hansa yellow in any brand but it's very bright it almost has a py150 that kind of nickel yellow but of course this is made with py3 which is a hansa yellow 10g i can see one two three and four stages here no qualifying whatsoever so you can go at it with as much water as you like on the whole i found that certainly on this bockingford cold press paper that there wasn't that many cauliflowering issues certainly not in the yellows but it is classified as transparent and i would say it's pretty opaque it's at least semi-opaque maybe opaque especially if this is opaque then this is definitely at least a semi-opaque to opaque it's classified as staining and i would say it's semi-staining and it's very good at the glazing there's no lift the two layers are very clear 
so if you do a lot of glazing i would go for the hansa yellow it is again low tint in comparison to other colors that we're going to be seeing in the rest of this series then we have the cadmium yellow light and you can see that this is definitely cooler than the cadmium yellow light so if you want to go for a, the coolest yellow that is intense in color then definitely go for the hansa yellow the cadmium yellow light is made with py35 which is the cadmium zinc sulfide and it's still a nice bright orange i would say this is what i would expect from a yellow ink kind of color it has that kind of depth to it and a little bit of texture in the mass stone it has one two three and four colors and this is where we start seeing a little bit of um characteristics that you're going to see definitely in the much darker colors in that when i do stages i it gets very light up here at the beginning of the stage but then it gets darker again here that i did definitely see throughout the whole range so just keep an eye on that while you watch this series it is classified as opaque and again i would agree with that that this is opaque it's classified as non-staining i would say it's staining or semi-staining because if this is classified as staining then this is also classified as staining so i would say they're both same staining it's a good glazer you get a little bit of shaky you definitely get more texture on the mass tone from this paint than you do on the hansa yellow now you can see that this is a much brighter much more high tinting strength color but as you notice it doesn't say high tinting strength so it means that we're going to have other colors that are even more high tinting strengths but just for comparison you can see that this is definitely higher in tinting strengths already you get a nice bright green here and you definitely see some texture happening and this is something i have noticed with m Graham again in that a lot of their colors the maston when you paint it as it is then you get a lot of texture like this then we have the azo yellow and this let's compare the cadmium yellow light to the azo yellow it's a little bit warmer a little bit softer color cadmium yellow is light is very intense yellow but this is a little bit more chilled and i see one two i would if i kind of squint three and four but i would say three and four are the same by the way i did try to get five stages like i did with the core so if you only see four that means there's a stage that just got blended in with the other colors and again you see here where the beginning of a stage is lighter than the end of a stage this is something that i didn't see with core that i am definitely noticing with m Graham. it could be that it, it will perform better on another paper this is a bockenford cold press but i definitely noticed it on this paper it's classified as transparent and this is definitely at least semi-opaque like the other colors and it is classified staining and i would say this is semi-staining it's a good glazer you can see the two layers clearly and you get nice clear mixes it's definitely softer in the color mix than you get with the cadmium yellow those are that the cadmium yellow lights are very bright mixes whereas this is a little bit more relaxed and chilled and then finally for this video we have the hansa yellow deep and that is made with py97 it is the Daralite yellow fgl and it's definitely started to get warmer you can see it's getting warmer and I'll, I'll show you the five colors in a row at the end it again has that inky feel in the mass stone so there's a little bit of texture going on there it's not granulating but it's there's definitely texture there i see one two three three and four kind of melted together and then five it is classified as transparent and thankfully this i would agree with that it is transparent there's barely any deposit on there in terms of staining i would say it's non-staining rather than their classification of staining because there's hardly anything there and there were definitely other non-staining paints that stained more than this 
it is a very good glazer as well in terms of color mixes it is a low tint color again you get softer mixes here if you fancy trying these colors this month's patreon exclusive dot card is the companion card to this series and it is the first of the emigram cards it contains the yellows and oranges that i think are the best in emigram we have bismuth yellow hansa yellow deep cadmium yellow cadmium yellow deep indian yellow as orange cadmium orange and scarlet pyrrole if you fancy receiving this on your doorstep then all you have to do is head on over to patreon.com forward slash Ottocano and sign up to the appropriate tiers and this dot card will be on the way to you so that's it for the first five colors of mgram we had a lot of the cooler yellows what did you think of these colors which one was your favorite i would definitely say that the hansa yellow is the coolest out of all the mgram yellows so if that's what you're looking for definitely go for that as your cool yellow the hansa yellow deep i think works really well cadmium yellow light is definitely the most intense the brightest of the cooler yellow colors as a yellow and bismuth yellow a little bit more muted or a little bit softer the hansa yellow deep is definitely starting to get to the warmer yellows and in the next episode you will see the warm yellows coming up i will put high risk scans of all these colors up on patreon if you fancy buying any of these colors for yourself then i've left links down below for jackson's us black and amazon us so you can get them very conveniently and it also helps the channel in that it costs you nothing extra it's the same price as if you don't use the affiliate link but if you use the affiliate link those companies will give me a small percentage of what you buy so it's a really great way not just for my channel but a great way to support any youtube channel do let me know what you like about mgram colors because i know there are diehard mgram fans out there in the comments down below and i will see you in the next episode bye